I'm the first African-American woman to achieve three stars in the United States military. I was 12 and I saw a documentary on TV about um, Service Academy. The teamwork and uh, leadership opportunity and people marching around, it, it just really appealed to me. And it was the law. Women were not allowed to attend Service Academy. At 16, the law changed. President Ford signed in the new law and I was able to apply the next year when I was 17 and I was accepted and I started Annapolis when I was 18. For us, the, the epitome, I think, of a career is having command of a ship. And uh, it is uh, an honor and a privilege to have that opportunity. It was not so much about being the first African-American woman to have command, but to actually have command of the Navy ship. I had a lot of opportunities where I was the first one to get to do something or the first one who looks like me who to achieve something. Along with that goes the responsibility of being a role model. When you're in a minority group, and you can be in a minority group because there's not a lot of you in the occupation. There's going to be, I think, a sense of isolation that you have to deal with. For women in particular, moving into non-traditional roles and occupations, there's a, a pressure of proving competence. Uh, and I phrase it this way, that you don't have the luxury of being average.